very cold hey like it's so cold i cannot deal it started snowing i went to bed it was raining i wake up it's snowing like and my body is still used to having you know it being summer in december because south africa is like isama so it's like it's a lot going on but what can we say you know we live and we learn and don't mind me wearing this cap yo my hair is a mess i'm still waiting on aliexpress to deliver my braiding hair i thought it would take quicker to get to japan but sorry um it actually takes longer than it would take to deliver to south africa that's what i'm not understanding to be honest i don't understand Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie Blood Moon. I am from South Africa and for the last nine months I've been living in Japan. I waited two years because COVID was like, girl, where do you think you're going? Stay here for two years. I was supposed to be here in 2020, but COVID was like, we don't like you, so you're gonna stay. And then I came this year and yeah, when I'm trying to upload a video every week. On a Sunday, I was trying to do two videos per week, but I was like, I'm lazy, you know, and I'm starting to get into this thing, so I'm not gonna push myself to the limit. I'm just gonna do what I can when I can. So, yeah, um, if you're subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And yeah, let's go on this journey together. It is a beautiful Sunday, but. A Sunday that is very cold. As I said, I went to bed, it was raining. I wake up, it has snow. I, I don't know what to say. But anyways, I we went to the SDC. SDC is like a I I don't want to say conference, it's like a, almost like a seminar of ALTs come together for two days and we do different workshops and when I was there I was living close to this beautiful park I am still trying to know how to say this but the name is on the screen um it is kind of a man-made garden and it is really beautiful like man-made or not it is exquisite so I'm gonna take you to times where it was cold but it was a little bit sunnier than what it is today i'm actually in my bedroom right now because wow 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 so on my way there there's a small shop that sells kumamon artifacts it's really cute welcome to suishin jojin park it is a very beautiful garden in the east of kumamoto city it was founded in 1647 by the third hosokawa lord hosokawa tadadoshi as a site for a tea house and a small temple because of the many underground springs. The water comes from Aso and it is at constant temperatures of 18 degrees. I must say that guys, videos and pictures do not do this place justice. It is absolutely fantastic. It is breathtaking. I have also found that at a lot of historic places, you will always find the Japanese national animal, which is the koi fish. There are two shrines built within the ground. This is the imposing Izumi Shrine, built at the start of the Meiji era in 1878, and it is dedicated to the cultural, moral, and intellectual leadership of the Hosokawa lineage. And also, like every shrine, if you find a prophecy you don't like, you can just hang it there. This is the smaller shrine, the Inari Shrine. 
Its multitude of rhetoric gates signifies that it's a shrine of agriculture and commerce. The white fox spirits guiding it are the messengers to the god. It is actually really beautiful in person. It's just fantastic. I was actually rushing here because my phone was about to die and I was like, I need to take as many videos as I can. Here we've got two statues of one of the founders and also his successors, Lord Hoasaka Tadadoshi and Lord Hoasaka Fujitake. The garden covers over 6,600 square meters, which was developed and extended by the 4th and 5th Lord of Kumamoto City, taking around 80 years to complete. A lot of performances happen here. There's a stage here and it usually happens during Hanami and autumn. Hanami is spring. I would really love to come back here during spring to show you what kind of performances they hold. This was the exhibition center. Unfortunately, it was closed by the time I got there. This is the view from the tea house and then you have little old me. And then I went to dinner. I had some amberjack fish, some rice, some potatoes, and that is it. Please join me again on the next video.